we begin today we're with reject omen and he is here to tell us all about this ship what's it called mate this is the sas cataclysm um this was originally a design by ignis day for uh for a EVE Online shipbuilding contest. Yeah, um, it yeah. never got put into the game, but I loved the design and decided to make it in the game. Um, this is a slightly smaller version of it. His was uh, 1,000 meters, and we've got the 800 meter limit here, so I brought this down to 800. And yeah, took me about six months to build this thing. A lot of work, and I think it paid off. Yeah, it does, it's really striking. There's a lot of classic Kaldari features. It's nice. It's got a lot of detailing on it as well. Some really nice features. Thank you. It's a few chunk errors, but I think that's probably just because we had a lot of people here when we loaded it in. I will reload it in a second, but for the most part, it's loaded in just fine. I really like the front end on this ship. Thank you. It's just uh, interesting. Uh, yeah, I tried to do it um, as close of a replica to the image that I had, and worked out pretty well. Okay, so the question is, where does the interior start? Um, go towards the bow, and in between the top and bottom. Um, there's a big yellow light, and we can all hop off there. Okay. Into the shark's mouth. Into the mouth. The Maw of the Beast. Okay, here it goes. And we'll just hop out uh, underneath the light here. Oops. Nice. What is this here? Am I in the right place here? Should be. Okay, jumping out. I seem to have missed my gravity. Rejects? Well, what gravity? Uh, the whole thing's oh, uh, okay. whole overhang is uh, area effect, so just sort of go to the edge and oh, grab right, onto right. it. We've got to go to the edge to, to get gravity. Yeah. Oh, wait, what? Did I just lose it? Ah. Well. I got <laughs> I got I got it. <clears throat> got it. No, I lost it again. <laughs> okay, I got it. No, I, 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 lost it. I lost it. Just sort of poke oh, the edge know. and come back in. But now I'm in gravity. Now go to the edge and jump back out. I'm not jumping off the edge of this <laughs> shit. <laughs> no. Get out of here. I meant go to the edge of the uh, trigger. There you go. You got it. Okay, right, nice. Let's go inside. Um, this entryway actually was basically the whole design for the interior, pretty much the entire ship. Um, it's three layers, glass, uh, layer of the black standard armor, and then blue lights underneath. And you'll see that throughout pretty much the whole ship. Nice. Well, which way are we going first? Uh, we're going to go this way, big door. Ah! <laughs> That area effect logic. <laughs> it's terrible. I forgot no, to put the no. uh, delays on it so it doesn't stay open for a second. What are they doing? <laughs> They've lost themselves. <laughs> They've okay, become okay. lost in the gravity. I in think the, uh, is up. I don't know. I'm gonna keep going. Right, which way is it? Up the stairs, right. Love right the stairs, stairs, mate. Love the stairs. Look how cool right. this is. When you're coming up the stairs, it's um, just all you see is the blue line and the blue hull. <clears throat> and it's really striking, like with the lighting effect. But then when you look down, it's completely different because of all of the blue lights that are exposed. I'm liking this already. It's like Halo, like Halo. Uh, Halo 2 when you go to the Covenant ships. Uh, that's actually where a lot of the inspiration from this came from, was uh, sort of Forerunner ships from Halo. Ah, I thought it was a bit... Yeah, well, it, you've done a good job. It's really well inspired. Where the hell am I? Am I even following you? 
<laughs> it's all right. Um, all right, this is one of the fighter repair bays. Um, basically maintenance for weapons, engines, that sort of stuff in here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in the back, there's just a buttload of bombs kind of hanging out. Oh my god. Look at so all tempted. those bombs. <laughs> Quick, pistola! No, no, it's fine. No, don't shoot. Don't shoot, no oh. pistols in the bomb room. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can shoot it. It's got 98 million shields, so... And look, uh, look. On the wall there, we got... Um, what do you call it? Uh, a parkour room. Park yeah, parkour. Um, no, they're just like transport units uh, for transporting the bombs out to the fighters. Oh, okay. That's pretty much all there is for this room. It's a lovely room. Thank you. Where to? Uh, Where to fire next? suppression system on the wall there. Silly door. All right, we're gonna head to the back here. And see the brig. Ooh, force fields. Force fields. Yep, they're uh, they're just glass, uh, knocked ingots, and blue lights on the bottom. Some crystals up top to give it more light. Ah. Awesome. Ah. <laughs> they're trying to trap us in the brig. <laughs> Quality. Nice concept, really dark as well where it needs to be, which is nice. Where to next, boss? Uh, we're going to go into the uh, main elevator room. Ooh. Okay, elevator room. Oh. Where'd you go? Um, yeah. Around the edges here, you've got sort of an information display units. Uh, basically, just let the crew know, you know, where they're going, where they're at. Daily plans, that sort of stuff. Stuff and things. Oh. Uh, in the back of the room here, we have uh, medical bay. Med bay, yep. Uh, got a couple of CAT scan MRI units in the back here. Nice. CAT scan units. Hell yeah, that's, that's going for it. Not seen them done before. Nice. All right, what's next? Uh, next, we're going to go forward, and we're going to see the bathrooms real quick. Every ship Take needs a toilet. To yeah. <laughs> the door's being silly. <laughs> I gotta fix that logic. Uh oh, someone's in the floor. <laughs> night, what night, night, sir. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. So you got cubicles, wash basin. Wash basin. And, and around the other side, we have uh, no? Navy no. Uh, battleship style uh, shower units. That's identical on both sides. Oh, he's trying to jump. Look. Eh, eh. Someone needs to help that man. Ah, showers. With flowing water. With flowing water. Yeah, I decided to use that since uh, they put those blocks in. Um, it actually worked really well for some of the water units that I put in here. Right. His knights are still knights trapped, still... or is he okay now? Ah, uh, he got out. Ah, good. Alright. What's next? All right. next? Moving on forward, we have the uh, birthing. Uh, sleeping quarters for all the personnel on the ship. With the exception of officers, uh, officers have another quarters higher up. A lot of bunks here. We have computers along the sides. Uh, they can contact their families, stuff like that. Got to think about the crew sometimes. Nice, man. 
Oh wow, there's wow. more through here? Wait, wait. What? This is the cryostasis room. Cool, a lot of water, a lot of blue light, a lot of glass. Looks really slick. Guess I forgot. Oh wow, the one was round the back as well. Well, well yeah, done, mate. <laughs> Thank you. This, uh, Look at all this was one of the things. earlier rooms that I finished, actually. Um, and this kind of gave me even more of an idea of how to use uh, some of the glass to get more of the lighting to show through. Because if you look at it, it the glass actually just sort of glows, and then yeah, you'll have the darker nice. spots. Yeah, this is uh, cryostasis. All the units have a display block above them so they can have uh, medical information about whoever's in stasis, uh, time in stasis, stuff like that. Silly door. This is actually the only angled hallway in the entire ship. I'm not sure why I did it, but I liked it, so. Alright, let's float on up to the next level. Nice. Bit like the elevator rings. Yeah. It was supposed to be a gravity elevator with selectable floors, but I couldn't get it to work, so... Yeah, do you know, that's what I ended up doing in one of my designs. Just turn gravity off and float. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look. E, hey, look. E, e, and, e and Q. Who would have thought it was so easy to use? Right. Right. So here we have uh, the galley, cafeteria for the ship. With some um, interesting food. array of textured foods. <sighs> yep, uh, the food is all served from the kitchen out to the tables, and then they just bring their own dishes back over. Sounds good. It's real fancy good. here. Um, I used some of the, uh, what do you call it, the materials, the raw materials to use as sort of drinks up there. Mm -hmm. um, if we move a little further back, we actually have the kitchen itself. Where'd you go? Where'd you oh, go? there you are. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is really cool. Uh, use some thrusters as burners back here. Over on the wall, we got a dish station. <laughs> Hey, they gotta do dishes, man. They can't just toss it out. Why not? Let's Why not? make more. <laughs> just you can melt, the, melt the old ones down and make new ones. <laughs> just jettison it all. Yeah. Right. All right. So That's all for this floor. Yeah. That works really well, though. It's quite slick. I like it. Yeah, I changed it. I had it so that you had to press the button there, but uh, I changed it so that it was just area effect. Right, right. Um, so, going forward to here, we Ooh. actually have the hydroponics lab. Oh, this is awesome. This place is massive. Oh, it's, oh, it's huge. <laughs> There's still three or four more stories to this, too. It's the Genesis Garden. You gotta be careful, Khan's after it. <laughs> He's been looking. He can't find it, though. Yeah, you can't yeah, you find can't. it. Yeah, because scanners, scanners are really good. Right, um, right. I have individual control of uh, the lights for this room, so I can actually dim them, and simulate night for the room. Give them a uh, quick show off of that. Ooh, it's night time. Night time. Gotta have night a night cycle, yeah. Um, going up from here. Oh, we're going up again. Going up again. Welcome to the bar. Ooh. Epic. Kind of a small bar. This is uh, more of, uh, this is more of just officers stuff. Can't have all the, uh, all the enlisted personnel getting drunk on duty. Ah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Several types of beer and liqueur. Right. 
that's all for this story as well. All these uh, stories are fairly small because they get up into uh, the actual bridge part of the ship. Um, this is the officer's quarter deck. Uh, if you look out the front, you actually have a pretty decent view out the bow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. You can see a couple of turrets up there. Really clear view at the top as well. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's uh, that's from the blast doors. Covers that up if we're in uh, combat. Uh, Around the back here, we actually have the uh, officers' sleeping quarters. Oh my god, oh Chunkara! Hang on, no, hang on. That's is it? What? Uh -oh. ah, you dropped uh -oh. through the floor. Goodbye. Yeah, see ya. <laughs> it's alright. I'm outside. <laughs> I didn't get stuck in the ship. I'm just walking up something. I don't know. Um, there is a way. There's a way. Uh, yeah, there is. Hang on, I'm going to come down there. I'm on the blue thing outside. Um, all right, around the back, there is a little tube to go through. Around the back? What? Like, like down the scaffold, and uh, if you look... Right in the center there, there's a tube that you can drop down, sort of lit up. No, I'm next to your turrets on the top, mate. What? Oh, I'm right. below, I'm yeah. below the head. All right, yeah, the come, come towards the back. <laughs> the back? Yes, towards me. Oh, I see you. <laughs> oh, now I've been stuck. I fell through the ship and uh, landed outside, but I'm okay. Ah, here we are. Ooh. Uh-oh. Yay! Oh, wow. How come I'm not that far away? Hmm? Nice. Oh, because this is the back wait, entrance. Wait, it's not a chair. Oh, well. No, oh, that's, uh... If you hit that, you'll get back in gravity. Oh, okay. I'll do that then. Do, 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 do. Yay! There's right. an area effect up there for it, but... It sort of... It works passively, let's call it that. <laughs> So where are we going now? Uh, back up. Going back up the stairs here. Up the elevator tube. Okie dokie. Oh no! I fell! You fell, oh no! What the? I broke it. <laughs> you broke it. <laughs> Wait for it and... Oh, I think someone else. Wait, what? Did you break it? Did you break it too? No. Hang on. Alright, uh, just sort of tap the edge there. Get back out of gravity. There you are. Yay. Yay. <laughs> We're doing it. Alright, and this is the level. Nice. Uh, you're, uh, you're one above me, I think. Oh, am I? Oh, okay. Yeah, you're on the uh, bridge. Okay, right. Okay, this right. one. Yeah. All right, let's continue. All right, went off on a tangent. Walls. All right, this is uh, the officers' quarters. Got a nice view. Yeah, uh, that is. There's blast doors in front of that that actually give it that clear view like that. Oh, I see. Whoa. That is two thick of blast doors and another three thick of uh, crystal armor, so damn, someone's going to have damn. a hard time shooting through that. Yeah. Reinforced windows. Nice bunk beds. Thank you. Yeah, they're slightly larger than uh, the standard crew bunks, just because, you know, they're officers. they got to have a little bit nicer. And up we go. All right, moving forward, we have the bridge. Ooh. Um, this is level one of the three and a half levels there are of the bridge. Um, fleet communications, uh, that's pretty much what goes on down here is fleet communications. Why is that glass block here? I don't know. I could have sworn I deleted that several times. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we got the glass chairs going on. Um, this entire thing... Glass chalk. 
Jeez. Glass chairs, baby. Glass chairs. Hell yeah. Sitting in style. What's that say? Ooh, we're searching for target, mate. We are searching for targets. Our uh, bearing is zero. True bearing. True bearing. True bearing. Interesting. Oh, there's more. You've got like you a got another mid level. They're stealing my blocks. Oh, are they? Yeah. No, you can't steal my blocks. Yay. I'm um, up to third level here. You got the uh, captain's chair. The nice little display going on. Yeah. Uh, so not button. like, uh, not like uh, the Cobra chair, but without any um, 45 degree wedges. Yeah. There's a... Uh... Well, now it's open, Camelot. Um, so yeah, that button controls the glass door for the window, which is four thick and another five of uh, crystal wedges. And we have Red Alert. Changes uh, the atmosphere of the uh, bridge a little bit. Yeah, it does. Oh boy, I went all the way down. <laughs> Found your way to the bottom there. Wow, when it's red alert, yeah, it really does change the look of the place. Yeah, it's legit. I like it. So there's that. There's a couple of uh, additional command chairs up on the front, up on the uh, glass walkways. Yeah, yeah, I went round there. They look cool. Love it. And the final room is actually down the captain's quarters. Small quarters, but large ship. Oh, we got so much room for so where systems. Where are we uh, down to the first level of, of the bridge and towards the back through the uh, glass oh, yeah, hallway. Oh, yeah, I... And this is the captain's quarters. He's got a bunk, he's got his desk. Good view out the uh, stern of the ship. And, uh... That's pretty much everything here. Um, there's a couple of access ways that go to uh, the fighter bays, which are out in between the wings, but those are not really work in progress. They're just waiting for uh, the rail system to finish them off. Hmm. Okay. Well, I love the style here. It's been looking really good, like all the way through. You've got a defined theme and stuff. It's very sci-fi. Definitely feels like a big combat ship. What was the name of the ship again? This is the SAS Cataclysm. SAS Cataclysm. What floor do I need to be on? The bottom? Uh, go all the way down, and then there's an offset and go down one more. Okay. I did that. And follow me. There. Oh, it was over there. Uh. Heading up to uh, birthing. You want to take a nap? <laughs> yeah, I should probably toss some uh, de delay blocks on these doors. Keep them from shuddering like that. Uh, we can take a quick look over at uh, just the hallway to fighter bays. Okay. Oh, I forgot to turn off the red alert. Ah, uh, there was uh, about it. it. Well, yeah, and that just uh, exit out or exits out to the uh, fighter bays. What does? Uh, the door on the far end enters a short hallway, and then there's uh, interchange that goes. Top and bottom. I haven't quite done the logic for that yet. Dot, 
door. Yay, door. What the? What is this science? Silliness. It's not opening. Where are you all going? It's pitch black up there. <laughs> yeah, mate. I might have to end the video quickly if this is going to carry on. Quick, God. quick. Yeah, because yeah, you can't, yeah, you can't right. have a black screen, mate. Can't be done. Right, moving back. Yeah, I just yeah, live in a black screen, screen, mate. No, no, no. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah. All right. Fighter bays are rather dark. They're rather. in between the wings, so. Okay, right. So, uh, where's that... Where's that? Where's that? There it is. Yeah, LB. Yes. I'm aboard. Oh. Thank you, though. Right. Let's bring you over to the fighter bay. Then you all left. Yeah, I know. It's all right. We're just. Uh, we're all coming Getting back. Out of the back. Darkness. So as soon as everyone's on board, we'll give it another whip. In fact, I can just do it now. So here we go. The name of the ship one more time. This is the SAS Cataclysm. Brought S to you by Reject Omen. SAS Cataclysm by Reject Omen. There it is, everybody. Beautiful ship. Gonna give it, one, give it one last round. And then we're gonna when ask we're gonna him when he's gonna wedge it. Oh no, I'm only joking. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, there's so many wedges on this thing. The whole thing is a wedge. <laughs> You're gonna get on. Who is that? He's on. Is he on? No, he's not on. He's standing there. You got gravity? No, he's on. Yeah, he's got gravity, I think. See, and everyone gets whipped. Yeah, yeah, everyone gets <laughs> stripped <laughs> out of gravity <laughs> because of the uh, logic element. So, thanks again, guys, for watching. We're moving on to the next ship now. So, uh, thanks to Reject for bringing the ship in and thanks to everybody for helping us tour. See you next time.